everybody, it's Kristen. So um, I have some swap packages to share with you guys. Um, and I got really spoiled and there's a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to show you it and I'm gonna not let myself swatch it. And then if there's something in particular you guys wanna see, make sure you let me know below and I can do a video on that. Let's address the ginormous um, redness that is my chest. Are you kidding me? It is March 18th. I went golfing yesterday on March 17th in Wisconsin. That is unheard of. I actually uploaded a picture to, um, to Twitter because uh, there was still ice on the water hazards and it was like 70 some degrees. It ended up being like 81 degrees by the time we were done. Um, as you can see, my face is just fine. I actually used a BB cream that had uh, that Misha one that I think is an SPF like 42. My face is fine. Didn't even think about in March needing sunscreen. I know. So anyway, I now have this lovely red pain on my chest and I'm gonna look ridiculous. Okay, so I know, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, I did pretty well golfing yesterday, by the way, and I walked. That's my goal this year is to walk instead of take a cart. Okay, onward and upward. So um, the first package I wanna show you is from my friend, Linda. She's been a subscriber of mine since the very beginning. And she knows that I really like brushes a lot. So she told me that every once in a while, the Quill brushes, she lives in Canada, go on sale um, for I think it's 40% off and that she would let me know if I would let her know what I was interested in and she would pick those up for me. So um, I was gonna just PayPal her the money, but then um, we talked, she was interested in some things from here. So we're doing a little swap. And Linda, hopefully your package is going out on Monday. I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video, but hopefully it's going out on Monday. Um, Anyway, so I'm gonna show you some of the things, or I'll show you the package that she sent me. First of all, she had it locked up like Fort Knox. It was hysterical. I mean, nothing could have possibly broken in this package. It was, and then it was all taped up and it was so funny. And she has this funny little note in there that says, caution, you may need a chainsaw, blowtorch, or some other power tool to open this package. I practically did. And she also, and this is so something, if I had time, to do this, Celinda, I'm sorry that yours isn't going to be as beautiful as this. She had everything wrapped up in pretty paper. She had it all typed out for me as far as what everything was, which I loved. I, I actually read through all of this before I looked at any of the products. So um, so first thing, she sent me some samples of some skincare from up there. Uh, from up there. And then, let's see, I'll show you this. She sent me these Quo um, exfoliating mitts. I had never seen those before, so those will be fun. And then there's a brand, and I'm gonna kind of go all over the place here, but there's a brand up there called Joe Fresh that I had never heard of. She sent me three polishes from there. And they are all very Kristen colors. This one looks a little bit darker than it actually is. It's a pretty purple, a nice nude, and a pinky one. Um, this one is Fig Latte and Nude. Like I wouldn't like a polish called Nude. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and I forgot she sent me the cutest little card. Uh, how cute is that? <laughs> I just cracked right up. So funny. So funny. And then um, this nail polish from Bourgeois. I lost my words there. It's called Beige Glamour number 27. Also a very crystal color. And I just took my polish off um, before I filmed this. And I'm going to do my nails at some point today. I have lots, lots going on today. So the brushes that actually that I had picked out, actually I think I picked out um, all but one of these and then she picked out one for me. So the first one is this blush brush. It's so soft, you guys. I wish I could explain how soft it is. And it's smaller than the MAC 129. I think it's kind of closer maybe to the 116 and I only really wanted to try something smaller like that. And then um, this is a crease blender brush. There's two lines and I don't know which, but this one has black handle. It's kind of a rubber grippy kind of handle. And then these ones are a smoother handle. And this one is the Face Contour Brush. And I have a Sigma version of this, but I just wanted to try another one. Because you know, I always want to try something different. And then this is a Crease Shadow Brush. What I liked about this is it's kind of like the 226, only a little bit longer, still with a point. I love crease brushes. What can I say? And this is also a crease blender brush, but it's a little bit shorter, kind of what you guys have heard me call that, like a, a bullet brush. And then this is really interesting. I had never seen a brush like this. This was a cream shadow brush. So it's really wide and 
you know, it's got some stiffness to it, and I'm assuming um, synthetic because it's a cream shadow brush. Okay, she sent me some really cool bracelets that she <laughs> she said were close to Packer colors. They're kind of an olive green and a creamy champagne pearl. Really pretty. I'm excited to wear those in and out of Packer season. Um, she did say no. I do. Have, well, I'm gonna say this to the end. Okay. I'm all over the place because I'm trying to. I recorded this once already and it was really long, so I'm trying again. Um, she sent me three eyeshadows that are in similar packaging to like Catrice eyeshadows that I've seen before, and that's a package you're gonna see in a minute. And this is um, in Twig. You guys can see the really nice warm brown. This one is in Bark. And it actually is kind of an army khaki green. And then this one is a really pretty champagne color. It's called Gold Rush. I'm telling you, this package, and both, all three packages that I've shown you today, they went on and on and on. I felt so spoiled, <laughs> quite frankly. Okay, so there's a brand in um, Canada called Annabelle, and they have these palettes that you fill yourself, kind of like a MAC palette. Um, and I just think this is so pretty. And it has the flake, maybe you can see without the shadows. I think that's really cool. And then these shadows come out. They all came in their packages, actually. They came in a package like in one of these, and in this, I saved that to show you guys. Um, and so there is, it's going to be hard for me not to swatch because these are so pretty. But I can't or I'll never get through this. This is Metallic Meltdown. Really pretty bronzy brown. This is Gold Digger. Buff Naked. It's a lot like Brulee. Actually, it's a little pinkier than Brulee. And this one is Bronzed Idol. They're so pretty. <clears throat> Maybe I can do face of the day with them. And that will um, and then that then, then it won't be swatching everything for you guys and keeping you here for 45 minutes. Okay, she sent me a gosh trio, and this is an adventure. So it's got kind of a uh, khaki green, a pinky color, and a or and a brulee-ish kind of color. I like those. You guys have seen me get those, gosh, from Tina before. And this, yesterday when I filmed this, I had forgotten for some reason to open it. It was the only thing I had opened and swatched. And I was, I wish you could actually see that. If I could edit, I'd put it in here. Because I was like, ooh, this is really cool. <laughs> this is an Annabelle Smoothie Eyeshadow Pencil. Um, and it looks like that. I don't know if it has a, I'm sure it has color. I just don't see it. Oh, maybe it's Mocha Mirage. But watch this, you guys. See how smooth that is? It's so pretty. Oh, I'm swatching. It's so pretty. And then she sent me um, a lip liner from, I think it's Liz, Liz Wattier, I think is how I've heard people say it. And it's in Nude. And yesterday when I swatched it on my hand for you, it, I couldn't wash it off. It was crazy. It lasted a really long time. She might have said that in her letter too, actually, now that I think about it. And then she sent me another lip liner, and this is, she asked me, she said something about Juicy Tuesday, talks about this, and I, I love, I watch Juicy Tuesday. Actually, she should do a video. It's been a long time. Um, I love watching her. But um, it's in Demure. And it's also by Annabelle, if I didn't say that. And she sent me a cool lip gloss in Dreamy. Really pretty pink. And she sent me a Gosh lipstick in Nougat. I'm really excited to wear this, actually. When I swatched it yesterday, I was all ooing and eyeing. Well, actually, you should have seen my husband when I was sitting there swatching all of this stuff. <laughs> and then this is from Bourgeois. So pretty. And it is brown, brune, 
Number 74. Ugh. Oops. Go pretty. This comes with a fun little brush, too. Okay, so Linda, over the top. Thank you very, very much. Too, you're too, too generous. Um, oh, and she sent me this. This is so funny. Have you guys ever seen these? I had never. They're called Smarties, but they're not, as she put, the chalky things. <laughs> chalky dry multicolored Smarties. So we, these are like M&M's because they're chocolate on the inside, but they actually are way better than M&M's. They're, they're, they have a candy coating, coating that's kind of like um, a spree, that kind of a candy coating, you know, the sprees, but chocolate inside. It's really good. Just saying. Okay, then my friend Tina sent me a couple of packages. The first one that she sent had um, this awesome polish in it that I had on yesterday when I did my video, but it kind of got ruined with golf and everything. And that's by CCUK and it's in chocolate and I did really like it. She sent me this. I mean, does it get any better than this? I remember she's from Ireland. <laughs> so she sent me this hat. Isn't it awesome? I had it on yesterday for you because it was St. Patrick's Day, but now today's not. <laughs> okay, so she sent me a huge package full of things. I mean, seriously. Spoiled much, Kristen? Um, now I can't remember if I said thank you enough to Linda. Linda, thank you. Okay, Tina. Also spoiled. Me. She sent me this package of seven lip balms, balms from Simple Pleasures. She sent me a couple of nail palettes. Well, four more. Nail, two more of that CCUK line. One in. I don't know that color. And in, this one is an illusion. It's an iridescent blue. What was this? I'm like blind today. Rose. But it's like a really light. She sent me this one, sent me this one in Dusty Rose. And gosh. And then this one she told me to keep an open mind and not be so crazy <laughs> about my nails. It's called Purple Heart. It's really, it is really pretty. There's a lot of different colors in there. Very multi-dimensional. It's very cool. Then she sent me a couple of Avon Super Shock eyeliners in different colors. One in Fawn and one in Blackberry. And I had seen Stacy, um, the Jewels One Two Three, talk about these, and I was asking Tina about them if we do a swap, and so she hooked me up. Really, really pretty. Oh, I swatched. <clears throat> she sent me a hand lotion because it's actually glycerin hand and nail from Avon Care, so I'm going to try that, and hopefully that will help my hands, my disastrous hands. Um, the reason that the the package actually started was because she didn't like the Garnier Anti Dark Circles roller and she knew that I did so she sent me hers. And a lip gloss from Bourgeois. It's in a real pretty pink. I love this bottle. Isn't that cute? And then a lip gloss from, and so this is the other reason. She um, has a pharmacy near her that started carrying MUA or Makeup Academy um, stuff or the cosmetic line and I don't have that here so she was sending me some so she sent me a lip gloss in shade number four really pretty peachy goldy color then she sent me six eyeshadows this one is in 22 pearl it's a really pretty pink this one is a dead-on dupe for max club I checked and it's shade 12 How you like that? I checked. And this is a really cool, pretty brown, like cool toned brown. And it's 19 matte. <clears throat> and Tina does videos. I, I mentioned her obviously several times below, but I'll, I will put her link below in case anybody wants to check her out. Um, this is shade one pearl. And this, this color is uh, it's kind of a cross between like wedge and brulee. If you were to mix them together, I think you'd get this color. Shade 17 matte. And then this one is so pretty, it's going to take everything I have not to swatch it. Shade 11 pearl. Okay, let's just swatch it. Mm, so pretty. Can't hurt to swatch one or two. 
And then she sent me a blush. No, I have a swatching on my hand and I don't have a towel here. And this one is really, really pretty. And it's shade six. It's really, really pretty. Even a pretty eyeshadow too. And she sent me some short eye, eye, eyelashes. We were talking, I think, about doing, about me and I, I haven't tried the individual ones. And then she also sent along this bag, which I absolutely love. It's a really cute little bag. It's so it's about the that's how big it is. And it's got a little one little pocket here, like a small little one. Maybe you guys can see. There's a there's a seam right here. So it's pocket here, pocket here, and then the pocket on the on the inside, and then it snaps. I love that. And she also sent me, and this I just fell in love with as soon as I saw it. This is so right up my alley. And it's a cute little heart. Um, box so it can sit on your bed like it'll sit on my bedside and I can put my rings in there I just love that I think it's so cute very pretty and she also sent me a card um, with the cutest little dog ever ah very cute I like dogs I just can't have dogs you know what I'm saying I always tease my friends that I don't like dogs but I do I wouldn't like the shedding, that would drive me bonkers. Okay, and then the other one, and I mean buckle in ladies because this was like the never ending package. Oh, I don't think I said thank you to Tina. Tina, thank you so much. I mean, I've talked to her personally and thanked her, but um, just super, super sweet. I, I so appreciate uh, when people are willing to get things for me that I don't have access to um, and that we can do swaps and that kind of thing. I just, it's, it's really neat. I, I had a bad experience with, um, I sent a very large swap package to somebody in England a while back because I really wanted to get some sleek um, products and that kind of thing. I want, that's what I wanted to swap for. And she got my package, disappeared, and I never heard from her again. Live and learn, right? So anyway, um, I, I've talked about them before. It's, um, sorry, I'll pull my chair up. They're Baby Cake 390 is their number, and they're twins, and they live in Austria. Um, and they're so funny um, and just, I don't know, they're, they're just so cute together when they do, they, they do videos together always. Um, well, not always. When they do tutorials, then they don't. But anyway, um, they want, were asking about one of the products from my um, vlog sale, which by the way, part two is coming, I swear. And they sent, they wanted to send me, um, I, or they, and I said, well, how about we do a swap for some Catrice shadows? Because I know they have access to those, and I really want to try those. And they said, sure, absolutely. So, you know, we're in the process of doing that. Ladies, your package is going out soon. Um, so anyway, I get a package in the mail yesterday, and holy moly, it was full of products. Um, I mean, seriously. I'm so spoiled. So I'm going to show you guys those things. And again, no swatching because there's so many of them. So the first two things I'm going to show you are two things from Catrice called Made to, Made to St Color, Medal of Honor, and Lord of the Blings. And they sent a note. I'm going to kind of read the stickies that they sent as I go. It said it might be as good as the Maybelline Tattoo. So we'll have to see. This kind of looks a little bit like Bad to the Bronze but a little cooler, maybe. And then this one is a pretty champagne, and I don't have, I only have Toughest Open Bad to the Bronze because I haven't, I have broken my nail by a little bit here and there. I mean, let's be honest. Oh, I see my video cut and went to it. My video, for, my video camera for some reason at like 18 minutes and so many seconds decides that it's, that that's enough for that video. <laughs> it goes, it starts a new one all on its own. So that's why sometimes you see a little blip in my videos. Okay, so um, I will do a maybe a comparison if you guys want to see that. Please, please let me know if there's anything you guys want to see below. I want to do it. I want to do that. So um, let's see. This one, she said, oh, the, their names are Bridget, Bridget, no, Brigitta and Cornelia. Um, and this is a mascara that they said is Cornelia's favorite. And it's Essence Multi Action Mascara. And when I use it, I will show you guys the brush, but I don't want to open it. I'm trying to, I really am doing well at finishing up some of the mascaras that I have open. And then I, um, because I was doing that Mascara Madness series and it was all the samples I had were high end, I do have some drugstore mascaras that I haven't opened yet. So I'm going to pick up w with my Mascara Madness series, um, but I'm going to use some drugstore. Okay. So this, 
is an Effect 4D lip gloss from Bourjois. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is number 65. And it is the color of the container. And it has a little brush applicator. But I have to do some research on this because there was a little note that said, be careful, glitter on top. And there is absolute, absolutely a little thing of glitter there. And so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put that on or what. I like on top of the gloss? I'm not sure. But I'm going to Chicago next week and it seems, if you're going to put glitter on top of your gloss, it seems like that'd be a place to do it. Okay, um, I was going to save all the picture stuff till the end. Then she sent me this. How cool is this lip gloss? Or they sent me this. There's like three colors in there and then when you pull it out, I only did it once. When you pull it out, you can see it come through all of the colors. Isn't that cool? And this is from Manhattan. And... Twist it. Three trendy colors within one gloss. A real eye catcher for your lips and for your handbag. And I think it's a German company. Okay, stop. I'm, I'm, I'm going on and on. It's a Catrice color. And I'm pretty sure I, I, I watched, um, they, have, they have their makeup collection storage videos up right now. And I'm pretty sure that they said, whoops, that they said the black packages were matte and that the these packages were shine. And this one is in Be Natural. Nice nude. I also like how their, the top of their lipsticks are really curvy like that. I don't know. And this one is in Coralicious Pink. I actually don't think I have a color or anything like that. So I'm excited to try those. Sent me a couple of nail polishes from, oh, I'm going to keep the Catrice stuff till later. Okay, one of their favorite brands, and they talk about this brand a lot, is called El Verde. And they sent me two eyeshadows from El Verde. Whew. And um, they said they had great pigmentation. And they do, because yes, I was watching them. And this one is in Golden Chestnut. and the, So this is Golden Chestnut, and this is Elegant Beige. And then, it's funny, yesterday when I was watching their um, Cornelia's makeup storage. She's, she has those sitting right on her vanity because they're some of her favorite colors. So that was cool. <clears throat> it was fun to see um, some of the things that they sent me in there in the, on their, in their storage. And this is one of their favorite colors and this isn't blush from El Verde. And I like that you can see the blush through the thing. And this is in Flamingo. And I don't know a ton about this brand. But it looks like, you know, on the front it says Nature Cosmetique. So I'm assuming it's an all-natural product, kind of like a Veda, I would imagine. And this is, they said one of their, they say we love this quad from El Verde. And this is a Kristen quad if I've ever seen one. <laughs> very, very nice. And they had everything all packed, every single thing was in bubble wrap. I don't, have, I don't own that much bubble wrap, ladies, so your stuff won't be that great. I, I'm sorry. And then they sent me three blushes from Sleek, and these were ones that they um, had and didn't use anymore, but they knew that I really wanted to try, so I thought that was really sweet. So this one, in, and they don't like shimmer on their cheeks, and these have some shimmer. So this is in pomegranate, I think. Yeah, pomegranate. And this one is in flamingo. And this one is so darn pretty, I can barely stand it. It looks a little bit like orgasm. And it's rose gold. Hope that that's showing up right. So pretty. I just don't know what to use now. <laughs> and they knew that I wanted to try some sleek. I have a couple of sleek eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> and um, so they had one that they weren't using anymore that they sent to me. And it's in Paraguay. Paraguay? It's a lot of real pretty summery colors. A lot of orange and corals, a couple of browns, a couple of mattes, some shimmers. So I think it'll pretty be very nice for the summer and nice with blue eyes as well. And they had, um, like I said, they, they were using it. They weren't using it anymore, so they, they hooked me up. This is a soft, let's see, this is another very much hyped product with German 
YouTubers. They watch a lot of German YouTubers. And this is from Manhattan, so it is from Germany. And it's a soft matte lip cream, so it reminds me of the NYX. So I'm excited to try that and this and see how it compares to the NYX. And this is um, 95M. They sent me um, what I can only assume, this is it's their favorite body butter. Um, and it does smell really good. I opened it up yesterday. <laughs> um, and I'm, I actually have never used a body butter. I've seen them, but at, you know, like at the body shop and stuff, but I've never tried it. And so this is also from El Verde. I just was looking to open a new one this morning. I should have used that. And then they sent me um, a Catrice um, Lost in the Rosewood Lip Liner. Oh, I just showed a Catrice thing. Okay, well, that was the first Catrice thing. Let's, call, let's say that. Um, they sent me a highlighter from Catrice. You guys, this packaging is just so beautiful. I don't know. I just love it. Look at that. It's this nice... Oh, hello. Oh, this video is already 25 minutes long. Sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. And then this is a really pretty bronzer. In deep bronze. It's not that deep. Be a nice all-over bronzer. And then two nail polishes. This is Welcome to a Rosy Wood and I'm a Star. And I'm a Star looks like one of those ones that everybody was all oohing and eyeing over um, from Chanel. I didn't get it, so I can't tell you which color it is, but it's kind of that metallic -y green kind of color. I don't remember. Um, this is from Catrice. Look at how nice this is. So it's got this little glass thing at top and it, and it has the Catrice name in there. This is drugstore, people. So nice. Um, my, number nine is mine. That's what this gloss is called. It's got some really pretty shimmer in there. You see how spoiled I am? Holy Moses. And this is a skin finish compact powder. Maybe I can open it, maybe I can't. Well, it's powder. And then, look at this. <laughs> and this is the end. Oh no, it's not. They sent me two brushes. Um, they sent me three blushes from Catrice. I'm going to open them. So this is a cream to powder blush in... A Woman's World. And this one is a blush. They, these other two are blush duos, which I, I like that. I kind of like to get different dimension of color. This is Chocolate Cream. I think you probably could use those as eyeshadows, too. And then this one is super pretty for summer. Um, apricot Smoothie. And you can see there's just a little bit difference of color. This is the darker here. This is the lighter here. They sent me an eyeshadow. I just love this packaging. I just do. This is an eyeshadow duo. And um, double espresso macchiato. And this is kind of an army green. All right. These I'll just show you. And hopefully you can see them through. This one is Golden Evergreen. This one I'm in love with. Um, my first copperware party. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Um, the Noble Knights. My souvenir from the moon. No, my souvenir from Moon. This is a really pretty um, Bring Me Frosted Cake. Nice highlight color. And this is um, New Did It Again. <laughs> they have some funny names, I gotta say. Oh, it's, actually, it says Oops, New Did It Again. 
This one is, oh, it's Toffee Fall. And then this one is in Heidi Plum. Very cute. Very nice plummy color. And then, and I saw these in their, their video too, they sent me two of, I think it's Cornelia's favorite essence brushes. One is an eyeliner brush, and can you see it has a blue, the bristles are blue? And she uses for eyebrows, and I actually this morning was thinking that, I hate that I use my 266 for my eyebrows all the time, because then I never have it for any liner. So, I'm gonna switch that out now. And then this is a Smoky Eyes brush, and it has blue. So ladies, Thank you, over the top. I will link their their um, channel below. Please check them out if you haven't already. They're, like I said, they're real fun. And um, just over the top. <laughs> I do have a haul video coming that I maybe, I'm gonna record today, but maybe I won't put it up for a while so you guys don't have to see all, me just showing stuff. Um, and it's actually just, um, what Wild came out with some new single eyeshadows and I wanted to share those with you guys. So I picked them up, even though I'm supposed to be on an obi. <laughs> And then there are a few other things I got, so I've definitely broken my no buy lately. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions or want to see anything else, please leave them below. If you made it all the way through this video, thank you so much. I love you all. I hope you're having a great weekend, um, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.